to Kickstarter Talk, brought to you by the Indie Advocates Network. My name is Mr. Anderson, and no, you don't get to see me on camera today. That treat is being held back. I am the Indie Advocate and the Indie Devil. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll explain that to you another time, how one person can be both. But for now, let's get into the amazing Kickstarters that are now live. You just got to see one, believe it or not. Uh, this is now on Kickstarter. Uh, might put on the Kickstarter talk logo there. Might might just leave now on Kickstarter. Both work. We're gonna put our video in here by the time we're done from YouTube. So let's get into it. Soul Pact, a blurred name, Nia allows her soul to be taken over by a demon to get revenge. There's no video here, and I just want to mention it now. We will not be playing all the videos on camera anymore. With the reason for this is that we have personally taken hits on our cameras. Uh, not our cameras, on our accounts, sorry. We just had one of my things switched over, and it distracted me. Uh, the reason we're not going to be doing all the videos is we're getting in trouble. Uh, we had our YouTube thing suspended last year, and then we had a Facebook issue. We actually had this week's edition of Kickstarter Talk, that's why we're on Friday now, halted in the middle of filming because of a violation of copyright law. And uh, I don't support anyone breaking the copyright laws. I, I'm not going to get into it. This is our stance. If we don't know 100% that you have the rights to have that music in a video, we are not going to play the video. We're going to err on the extreme side of caution in this regard just solely to keep our accounts running and in good standing. Um, I am sorry for the creators. If you're a creator and you feel like your video should be played and you have the right to the music, just send us an email, tell us where you got the music, um, and why you think you have the right for it. If we check it out and it, it works, we'll we'll go to back it for you. We'll tell people, no, they're right, we got the information, they're absolutely right. Sorry about the, uh, the weird boxes showing up. We still haven't figured out what causes that glitch. But, uh, so back to our, our amazing Blurred. Blurred, by the way, is a black nerd. I didn't know that. You learned something new. This is the one that only has a couple hours. Let's... Let's go to it and see what's going on. Uh, blurred name Nia allows her soul to be taken over by a demon to get revenge. I think this is, oops, you guys are seeing our next show. That's going to be the Comic-Con forecast. Yeah, it's got four hours to go. Really, really exciting stuff. And while we're here on Kickstarter, let's just check this out. P.O.M. Uh, P.O.M., for those who don't know, was an amazing comic book. Uh, I actually really liked it. Uh, but they're, the actual... I'm trying to, here we go. The actual account is now, let's see, created to, let me see, okay, Ex Mortis. Okay, so Ex Mortis has 27 minutes to go, and it just funded. Um, I don't think we can play the video. Because we don't know the, the whether or not the video is there or not, we can't play it. But I can tell you this, Ex Mortis, a World War One horror story about a leader desperate for a win so uh if you're interested in this do ex mortis number one look up pom on the search bar like i did and back this amazing project today uh we're gonna move on 26 minutes honestly the show might be over by the time it's done that's why we didn't enter it we only found out about this i think late last night i didn't even know oops i didn't even know it was on uh kickstarter believe it or not and sometimes that happens and let's move this around in case we need to use kickstarter again so, Two-Eyed Tales, um, so one thing with the whole, oh, by the way, I want to read this before we go for, for a blurred uh, name, oh, it's just the same thing, we're going to read this, the Soul Pack was created because Marcel Dupree wanted to create a cheesecake book starring a black woman. Most cheesecake books don't offer a lot of diverse representation. Marcel Dupree wanted to find a way to showcase that a black woman can be sexy and powerful at the same time. This, of course, was written by Marcel Dupree. Uh, and it's a great book. It's done really well on Kickstarter. I've gotten to see a lot of art for it. Super awesome. And uh, I congratulate them on their win, obviously. Joseph Duas presents the Two-Eyed Tales of Black and White Horror Anthology Make 100 Kickstarter. Now, if your Kickstarter video does actually have you talking in it, I can work something out where we let you on camera as long as the music isn't playing in the background, which you'll see now. And that's why we're going to let this play to I'm Joseph Dewis. I'm the writer and creator of Two Eyed Tales. Thanks for checking out the project. It's a collection of four black and white horror comics, <clears throat> 48 pages. 
The first one is called Cat and Mouse. It's a story of a couple of Japanese teenagers who get really drunk, and when they wake up, they find themselves in this village that they don't recognize, so they become contestants on an extreme game show so they can get home. It was inspired by extreme Japanese game shows. The second story is called Once Upon a Horn. Uh, it was inspired by my daughter asking for a unicorn ride for Christmas. Uh, it's about a spoiled princess who asks for a unicorn for her birthday and how they try to uh, tame the unicorn. The third story is called Death's Head, which is the first time we published this one. It's the story of an exterminator who wipes out a colony of Death's Head hawk moths that are stealing honey from bees. And then he gets one in his car on, when he's driving on, on his way home. I was inspired by me driving to pick my kids up and I'd be there at a certain time. Uh, after I left work and I found there was a butterfly moth in the car with me and I couldn't stop because uh, I didn't have time. I was trying to get it out of me as I was going down the interstate, uh, get it out of the car as I was going down the interstate. Uh, the last story is called Bless the Children. It's a story of a uh, guy who's the last survivor of a failed westward settlement. It takes place in 1847 during this, the period of westward expansion. And... He finds his way down the mountain after the rest of his party has become trapped. And he finds a village uh, that's only being inhabited by one woman. And they start seeing children around everywhere that are completely silent. So, as you saw earlier, this comic is uh, a manga size comic. That's uh, why we're able to mail it anywhere in the world for the same prices for domestic shipping. So uh, if you want to get this, um, or also the living edition cover version, uh, domestic and, and international shipping are included uh, in most reward tiers. So thank you for, for checking out the project, and I'll show you some art from the... We cannot play further in the video as we have not confirmed whether the music is copyrighted or not, but at least we got to hear from the creator, which is pretty cool. Speaking of pretty cool, making 100, Sisterhood, number one stretch goal cover, uh, or stretch cover, I should say, for artists and fans alike. This was part of the 100 campaign that's going to be ending on the 10th. So all these Kickstarters that we're mentioning right now have very limited time on Kickstarter, so don't wait too long. And make 100, Guinevere, the Divine Factor, Divinity Factor, number one stretch cover, 100 limited edition sketch covers, of his comic, Guinevere the Definitive Factor, he did a Kickstarter and made a campaign for 100 sketch cover <coughs> variants of issue 1, Guinevere the Definitive Factor. Each one will be autographed and numbered. Who would like one? This is by Preston Poulter. Uh, so, and we're going to move on to Spirits, Realm of Spirits. This is by Sylvester Emmons. And um, I think... We get him talking so we can actually show. There we go. This has been a problem all day. Sylvester Edmonds, creator and writer. All right, see how the music's playing in the background? Uh, we can only sample it for a second. I do suggest watching it, but because of the fact that we can't confirm yet that that is, we're going to have to skip the video. But Realm of Spirits number two, this is uh, the Blossom of the North Star edition. This is an ongoing series, so definitely check it out. It's got some beautiful art. Um, I believe this one we can watch. I have a list in front of me. I think we're okay. No tape. Nope, can't watch that one either. Cross Our Gates, The Living Nightmare. Horror Mystery. Uh, let me just... Yeah, see, it. this is going to have stuff. Uh, the Living Nightmare Horror Mystery Series, a psychological thriller that dwells into multiple layers of fear. Make 100. And, of course, if creators are watching this and you know that you have copyright stuff, I mean copyright-free stuff or stuff that we can actually play on the show, please reach out to us and fill out an email. Uh, the email is also so for when we have to fight with uh, either Kickstarter or Facebook well, not Kickstarter, but yeah, Facebook, or we have to fight with, uh, oops, sorry about that, that weird shake on the, oh, you guys don't have that anymore, the table just shook, and I'm so used to the, that being a problem for the live videos, uh, we don't always have that anymore, because we're on a different stream, it's pretty cool, 
So this is definitely cool too. It's a psychological thriller that dwells into the multiple layers of fear. So that's badass. Speaking of badass, gods of Azum. Hi, I'm Gary Scott Beatty, and in 2017, I successfully kickstarted Strange Horror, three full-color digital comics. Ever since you've been asking me when more of my strange stories will be available, I'm now ready to offer you Gods of Azern 1, 2, and 3 and the New Witches graphic novel. Gods of Azern collects nine stories written and drawn by me in three full-color digital comics, content previously seen in my webcomic. Plus, be the first to read the new Gods of Azer and Witches graphic novel in its entirety before anyone else, estimated at over 70 pages in full-color PDF. My horror comics aim to be thought-provoking, Lovecraftian, and cosmic, and Gods of Azer continues that trend. If you're already a friend, thank you so much for helping me continue to produce comics. If you're new, thanks for giving Gods of Azer a look. In glorious service to our Azern overlords, this is Gary Scott Beatty. So there we go. We got to check out that cool trailer. Uh, five Blades, Five Samurais Hunted by the Nation that they helped form. Check out the oversized first chapter of this five... Estimated at over 70... Sorry about that. We got some feedback for a second. Uh, let me just double check. Everything seems still good. Okay. Sorry, I just wanted to double check. Sometimes that's a bad sign that we lost something. But we're good right now. All right, so as I was saying, five blades is going on. Five samurais and a hunted are hunted by the nation that they helped form. Check out the first oversized chapter in this five-issue miniseries. And for all the cat fans out there, you can get a badass cat print. When you back five blades... For twenty, when you end the book for twenty, get it here, right there. Click the link and click the link and support Armor. I, one through four, new kid in town stumbles upon an alien ship that thrusts him into the middle of an intergalactic war. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm actually a fan of this series. I can't wait to see what's next. Uh, Boston Metaphysics Society. We can play this video, so let's do it. I know for a Hi everyone, my name is Madeline Holly Rosen, and I'm the writer-creator of the steampunk supernatural series, Boston Metaphysical Society. Welcome to our Kickstarter to print our brand new standalone book, The Spirit of Rebellion, a Caitlin O'Sullivan story. If you're not familiar with the original series, it's about an ex-Pinkerton detective, a spirit photographer, and a genius scientist who battles supernatural forces in late 1800s Boston. In our new story, Caitlin is thrown out of the house by her mother. She goes to Samuel for help, and he takes her to Philadelphia to the boarding house of an old friend. And there she discovers a ghost, a rebellion, and perhaps her destiny. Now, the story itself is 34 pages long in a 44-page perfect bound book, which means lots of extras for you. And I'm happy to say that Gwen Tavares is back on board doing the art and coloring. And even better, the book will be ready to go to the printer by the end of the campaign. And if you're new to the Boston Metaphysical Universe, the original trade paperback and our previous standalone story, The Scourge of the Mechanical Man, will be available as well. So please take a look at the reward tiers on our Kickstarter homepage and pledge today. And thank you in advance for your support.
ladies and gentlemen, let's move on to the conceptual heist. Volume 1, and for the, for the record, for those who are wondering, the reason we're able to show that was simply because of the fact that uh, we know that uh, Madeline Holly Rising does the right thing. She uses uh, royalty-free music. She showed us uh, her ability to... Uh, she actually gave us a link when this all went down for people to be able to get their own music, too. So if you're looking to put music on and you want to do the right thing, uh, reach out to us or Madeline Holly Rising. She'll give you a link. Conceptual Heist Volume 1, the Sci-Fi Art Caper Essential Edition, 220 miles from Earth. Gemma Heist takes crime out of the world. All cyberpunk action comes to print with jazz age style. I believe this is a, a video we can play. We had trouble playing it before, though. It was just that the video was... It's the kilometers from the surface. I think they're... Earth. Do you want to join the heist? Hello, I'm JDC, writer and co-creator of Conceptual Heist. For almost four years, Mac and Yo and I have been telling Gemma's story in the comic strip Conceptual Heist twice a week. Now that we've come to the end of our first story arc, it's time for us to bring you Gemma's story in book form. In the year 2090, Gemma Heist is a museum curator, an heiress, and an absentee VP of a security company. But most importantly, she's an art thief who's about to take crime out of this world. She may not be Robin Hood, but she's getting there. Matt and I have come to Kickstarter to help fund the coloring and printing of Conceptual Heist Book 1 and to bring it to a larger audience. We've already had success with two previous Kickstarter campaigns. And now we're back to bring our series to you in a 136-page full-color volume. We have plenty of great rewards for backing. The trade paperback, the limited edition hardcover, signed prints, <coughs> and some original art by our very own Mac Gagnon. And if you stay tuned to the Kickstarter, we're planning on hosting some live streams where we'll be announcing some fun and exciting experiences as rewards for backing. By funding this project, we'll only be months away from taking this story from the web and placing it into your hands. This is your best chance to get the adventure in full color. So choose your reward, back us on Kickstarter, and join the heist. This has got a funny ending, too, so I would have been ashamed if we couldn't showcase it on the show. Wait for it. All right. <clears throat> and there's more. The year is 2090, and Gemma Heist is about to steal one of the most famous paintings in all of history. No. The year is 2090. And Gemma Heiss is about to steal one of the most famous paintings in history. It is the year 2090, and Gemma Heiss is about to steal one of the most famous paintings in history. Why am I doing this accent? The year is 2090, and Gemma... Uh, how do you breathe in this thing? <sighs> <laughs> Speaking of awesome things like that end trailer, Travis Kidd presents Broke Down of Four Dead Bodies, now on Indiegogo. Prepping for his second issue's release, he brought back the first issue. A simple drop-off turns into a bloody ambush, leaving two gangsters to dispose of four dead bodies.
Let's move on to <coughs> Jerry King presents Phantom Lion, issue number one. This is brought to us, uh, we're going to bring you the video, I should say. Uh, it's an origin story of the Phantom Lion. Lenny Conrad, Conrad becomes the legendary Phantom Lion. <laughs> Hey, this is Kerry King. Thank you for taking a moment to consider supporting this project. Let's get right to it. I want you to read this amazing comic book. Think of it as Snake Eyes meets Jack Bauer, located in Africa. This is issue number one, Lenny Conrad's transformation from father and world famous photojournalist to Phantom Lion, superhero with lion powers. I can't wait to introduce to you all of the characters, the plot and the subplots. It is a tangled web of superheroes, supervillains, mystery, humor, romance, secret codes, exploding things, and epic battles. You might see hints of my favorite comic books like G.I. Joe, Spider-Man, and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I'm also influenced by books like The Chronicles of Narnia and The Lord of the Rings. I bring you relatable characters that will fuel your imagination. You can read more details about the story down below. We have some great rewards, including one-of-a-kind fan art from comics that inspired Phantom Lion and an exclusive coffee blend to highlight the story location, Tanzania, Africa. This is an exclusive offer only for this Kickstarter campaign. Plus, if we work hard, we can unlock some fantastic stretch goals. I'm proud to offer you a moment of entertainment, a moment of reflection and fun, a moment to forget about your worries and to see things from a different perspective. Thank you so much for making this dream a reality. All right, so uh, I'm assuming that that music was okay. For some reason, I put it on my list. I'm hoping we don't get bit for that one, but I know Hollow Testament's clear. On the surface, and I'm Luke Cooper, creator of Hot. Hi, I'm Frank Martin, creator of Modern Testing. And I'm Luke Cooper, creator of Hollow Girl. On the surface, both of our comics couldn't be further apart. One is an anthology that follows ancient beings in modern times, and the other is a gritty supernatural action thriller about one girl's quest for revenge. But they're actually more alike than you might think. Hologo at its core is driven by deep biblical themes like vengeance and restless spirits, which makes her perfect to go up against a cast of mythological creations. Following the same format as Modern Testament, Hollow Testament contains three standalone short stories pitting Hollow Girl against a different biblical being in each one. She would have to face off against John the Divine, sorry, Joan the Divine, Cain, and Death as she continues her mission to help tortured souls find peace. Thanks for taking the time to check out the Hollow Testament campaign, and please let us know if you have any questions about it. To support our project, please click on the reward tier of your choice. Your pledge to bring this project to life will be very much appreciated. Welcome back to The Geek Girl Returns. That's right, the original Geek Girl is back in this extra-sized issue. Sam Johnson presents.
so I'm super excited to see what happens in this next edition of Geek Girl. I know you guys should. So check out Beast Mode Arrival, issue number one. Beast Mode Arrival, issue one, is a 24-page adventure-style comic starring a race of people who can turn into beasts. And Spirit's Destiny is an ongoing comic book series featuring a Haitian girl with extraordinary abilities created by... And headed by an all-female production team. Chaotic Flux, number one, Aliens vs. Monsters, part one. A ragtag team, a dying earth, a plague of a mutant and abomination, and a genocidal dark entity. That's a lot. And speaking of a lot, Harpies is back, and there was a lot of love for this back in the, the uh, first issue, so I'm sure it's already, oh, it funded in 11 hours. I was going to say, I think it funded, but it's already updated in the video. Funded in 11 hours. Here's the second chapter of the adventure. You don't want to miss what happens next in this World War II car comic. Moby Dick. Back from the deep. The legendary whale has returned to a small coastal town to wreak havoc on its unsuspecting residents. Pick up issue 1 and 2. Now available on Kickstarter through March 7th. And uh, Murder issue number 2 is a comic book series that follows the butcher's butcher as he races to save the world where animals are linking <coughs> telepathically. Uh-oh. <coughs> Looks intense. That ends on February, I'm sorry, March 9th. Empowering learning with You Create Comics. You Create Comics is bringing innovative programming and pop culture Engagement to classrooms for 200 students in Central Ohio. What? This is amazing. I love this. Check it out. It is a game changer. Okay, Dad, I need my keys and uh, oh, oh, hey, hi, I'm Victor Dandridge, the hardest working man in comics. <laughs> you literally just caught me on my way out to start talking about my you create comics line. It, I, actually, since you're here, can I can I start with you? You Create Comics is my in-class programming that I do to kind of instill education with some cool with comic books. It's, it's kind of important to me, actually. As a kid, I didn't like to read until I got into comics, and it kind of changed everything. Put me on a cool path and has made me as successful as I am today. So I kind of want to give back a bit, you know? I'm really kind of starting with my hometown and trying to make sure that, you know, kids in Columbus, Ohio have an opportunity, much like I did, to explore comics and see how that impacts their education and their potential future and earnings uh, out here in the world. So, you know, I could really use your help with that. I'm trying to raise at least... 250 to be able to bring my programming to one school in Central Ohio with a you know a high end goal of 2500 to maybe reach 10 schools with a potential of 2000 students. Now obviously yes you might not be from Columbus so maybe that might not be your back but it really would mean the world to me if you could at least share talk about or influence in some way shape or form this project to imminent success. We want to make sure that everyone has an opportunity to succeed and excel, and comic books is all about that. The superheroics are all about inspiration and leading us to our higher selves. So with your help, I think we can actually do it. If you get a second, please donate, pledge. These are some of the prizes that you'll have. These are actually from the Ukraine Comics line that can help you make your own very own comic material, right? I mean, like, literally yours. You created. That's kind of the name. It's clever, right? I know. But if not... Feel free, share. Share with somebody that knows that their, their kids love comics or is into the comic book medium, and maybe they will be able to support. Either way, with your help, I know we can empower learning to imminent success for some Central Ohio students. Thanks, guys. Have a great one. If you could bottle that man's passion, if that man's energy, you would have a billion dollar product. Just amazing to see Victor Dandridge and what he's doing now, man. Look at that's so amazing. Give him back to the community. And uh, I had talked to him on the upcoming radio program that you guys are going to be hearing about more about this. And just he is so excited about it. I simply love it. Uh, Drexel, and uh, make sure to back it, guys. Back it and share it. Give it a dollar. Like I say, this one's the one you want to give a dollar. Make sure, because this is about helping kids. And whenever it's about helping kids, man. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna lead hard. So let's get this funded uh, beyond funded. Let's get it to its stretch goals. Let's make sure it hits every stretch goal it comes up with. How's that sound? Let's make this so it's a national program and maybe it goes international. Nathan Kelly presents Drexel number two when monsters collide ends March 11th. Tyler Carpenter presents Demons Volume Number Two, a 130-page graphic novel now dealing with the supernatural and our own personal demons. Uh oh. And Lily the Demoness, uh, we we got to get a, a picture for that. Um, we had this problem. It shows in our preview screen, but then it doesn't show in our uh, in our thread for some reason. Already funded. Here's the picture that we're going to upload and get into there. Uh, we'll fix that right after we go off the air. 37 days to go. Already doubled, doubled what it was asking for. So that's pretty awesome. So let's check out Ex Mortis. It, it, I think it's official. I think it's official. It is funded. There we go. Congratulations to Marcel Dupree. Another successful campaign ran on Kickstarter. A new book, a new series coming to you guys soon. Stay tuned. Check your mailboxes in a few months. You guys are all getting Ex Mortis 1. If you want us to cover a Kickstarter, go ahead and give us the information. And if you're listening to this program and you want us to play your video and you already heard about the new rules and regulations about playing videos with copyrighted music, please <coughs> send us where you got your music from so we know it's safe for us to play. This is about keeping our site safe, uh, me personally as a creator safe, because it's my profile that got dinged the other day and I got a nasty note from Facebook. And I don't want to fight with Facebook over things I'm not choosing to have a side in. I don't believe in copywriting, uh, using copyrighted music. So please don't put me in a position where I have to go against the creator. Uh, do the right thing. Or if you don't want to do the right thing, and mind you, I do want to say this. Understand if you put copyrighted music in your Kickstarter, I, there is a legal precedent that could be made that would say that you owe them money for that use of that song and even part of the funding money so be careful tread lightly take my advice don't do it it's not worth it um my name is mr anderson and you can actually follow me at mr anderson oh I, did i get to do it i don't think i got the indie devil to work yet no no i didn't get it to work Soon I'll have IndieDevil.com, but for now it's MrAnderson.com. Actually, I'll look at that. And you guys can see it right here. Check me out, see what's going on. And uh, this has been a production of the Indie Advocates Network. Thank you guys for tuning in. This has been another edition of Kickstarter Talk.